Okay, um, we come to conjugation of the modal verbs. Of course, as you know, every verb has its original form, and every verb, before you can use it to form sentences and all that, must be conjugated. So, and now we want to look at the conjugation of these modal verbs, and I start with the first one. Remember I said we have how many? Six. So the first one is conen, conen. And we have the conjugation here. So remember the personal pronoun as usual. So we have ich can, ich can, du kannst, du kannst, er kann, sie kann, es kann, wir können, wir können, Ihr könnt, ihr könnt, sie können, sie können. So, with that, I can, remember the meaning, I can, you can, he, she, or it can, we can, and then you, you guys, you plural, you can, and then they can. And this, remember, is the former form of addressing somebody that is older than you or somebody that you have a gap. I mean, elderly person or respectable person, you use Z. Okay, so we have Z konen, Z konen. We go to the next one, which is Zolen. Say it again, Zolen. Okay, so we come to the second one, Zolen. And this is the conjugation, remember, we said the conjugation, I mean, all modal verbs are irregular. So they are not regular. So you just have to learn it and master it. But I repeat, they are just six, so very easy. Okay, so ich soll, du sollst, er soll, sie soll, es soll, wir sollen, wir sollen, ihr sollt, Sie sollen, sie sollen. Okay, that is the conjugation. And then we come to the next one. Müssen, müssen. Ich muss, du musst, du musst, er musst, sie musst, es muss. And then wir müssen, wir müssen, ihr musst, ihr must, sie müssen, sie müssen. Okay, remember the meaning of müssen, sense of necessity compulsion. Okay, then we come to the next one, the fourth one, which is wollen. Wollen, okay, to want to. So, ich will, ich will, say it after me, ich will, du willst, Remember, this W is not pronounced, I mean, it's pronounced like a V. So that's why you hear me say, ich will, du willst, du willst, er will, sie will, es will, wir wollen, wir wollen, ihr wollt, ihr wollt, and then, sie wollen, Sie wollen. Okay, and that takes us to the next one, and that is dürfen. Dürfen, that is may or to be allowed to. So we have ich darf, du darfst, ich darf, du darfst, er darf, sie darf, es darf. Wir dürfen, wir dürfen, ihr durft, ihr durft, sie dürfen, sie dürfen, sie dürfen. We come to the last one, the sixth one, Morgen, and then we have Ich mag, Ich mag. Du magst, du magst, 
er mag, sie mag, es mag, wir mögen, wir mögen, ihr mögt, ihr mögt, sie mögen, sie mögen. You remember what you call the meaning of das? To like to do something. So with that, we have the conjugation, and I just want you to keep practicing until you are able to conjugate it without stress. Once you're able to conjugate it, it becomes easy for you to be able to use it in sentences. Now, we want to go to the position of modal verbs in sentences. Now, we have the introduction, we know modal verbs, they are just six. We know about modal verb, they usually occupy the second position, and when they are used in a sentence, there will be another verb that will not be conjugated in front of them in that same sentence, and we know that verb will be at the end of the sentence, and now we want to do something about, I mean, do it better now, the position of the verb, modal verb, in different sentences. So, we, we go there now, so see you very soon. Bis bald!